So what advice do you have for others about taking part in clinical trials for their melanoma? Sure. Yeah, I mean, I think the best way to, to manage the, the decision process, as I call it, is to educate yourself on all the information from the drug companies, the doctors, and anybody else attending to your illness. Um, the second thing is you really have to ask a lot of questions and get as much clarity about the options available to you out there. Um, I would also endorse getting a second opinion. That's always helpful, having an additional view on the information you have. And then, you know, finally, the, uh, the enrollment process is filled with information, all the information you really need to help you make the right decision. I, would, I found it very important to have a caregiver with me along the way to help listen and process the information with me, you know, because at the end of the day, um, having that second set of ears is really important because you're in a state of mind that says, all I want to do is fight, give me the answer, give me the answer. And you really have to step back and take into consideration all the information that's in front of you. So having somebody there with you is, is really, really important. And, you know, I think, you know, at the end of the day, you have to expect some up and downs through the trial. So what I tried to do is keep a good physical and mental routine going and to help manage through it. I'm not saying, you know, the disease doesn't change the course of your life. It does. But try and maintain a daily routine, a healthy routine, uh, and a good mental attitude throughout that process. And that's, that's I found that to be extremely helpful. Yeah. yeah. Um, probably add that it's really important to be communicating what you're feeling and how you're doing to the research and clinical team that's managing so they can didn't ha don't have surprises um, and can manage problems before they get to be um, really big and, and more uh, difficult to control. Um, well, I think that's very useful. I just want to make a couple of statements in closing, if, if I may. Um, 10 years ago, um, the uh, median survival for patients with metastatic melanoma, the condition that uh, Doug had was about six to nine months. Half people died within six to nine months. Half the people lived longer, but only 10% of patients were alive at two years. And um, through basic research that has been translated into clinical trials and now into clinical care, more than half the patients are going to be cured of their disease, get off treatment and get back to their normal lives. So that's really a tremendous advance it's happened because of basic science being translated into clinical research, but there's still a lot of unanswered questions. There's still half the people who maybe aren't being cured of their disease, and there are opportunities to even prevent relapse and some really interesting drugs that are out there that are being studied. And being on a clinical trial really gives a patient access to tomorrow's treatments today. And so not only are you doing a, a service for the patients in the future and helping us learn more about the disease, but also uh, have an opportunity to get better care for yourself and have an outcome like Doug has said. Do you want to add anything in closing, Doug? Yeah, I think you, you bring up a really good point, uh, Mike, in that every appointment I had in the trial, and I was in there every three weeks, I, I had a thorough discussion with, uh, with the doctor leading the case. And the questions were very thorough in terms of how you're feeling, where, where's your head at, that sort of stuff. And that's really important because it helps your mindset as a patient going through the process that the doctor is, is that concerned and very thoughtful uh, working with you through the trial. So I thought that was a huge benefit, a really huge benefit. Yeah. And, um, I think you're pointing out that if you're on a trial, you actually often get more attention than you would be right. in standard of care because the trial requires it. And there are yeah. also a lot more people on the trial team than just your oncologist and, the, and their staff. Right. There's a whole bunch of research staff who you can, you mm -hmm. can communicate with. And um, there are a lot of tests that are built into the trial that uh, help identify problems before they right. become bigger issues. And so you're not a number. You're um, a patient on those trials and you get close attention. So that's yeah. another advantage. Um, anything else to add? No, I'm good, Mike. Thank you. I appreciate it.
Well, I want to thank you, Doug, for participating in a clinical trial to help advance things. And then after you've had that wonderful experience on a clinical trial and control of your disease, giving back to the melanoma community through your role in the Melanoma Research Foundation. Thank you. Thanks, Mike.